General Contractor David Colston did a lot of walking on the job until leg problems slowed him down. Well, I walked 50 to 75 yards or something like that, and my legs were just cramped completely up. And I couldn't move, and I'd have to sit or stop. Colston was suffering from a condition that affects about 12 million Americans, peripheral artery disease, or PAD. In these patients, plaque buildup in blood vessels blocks blood flow to the legs, feet, and toes. If left untreated, it can cause severe leg pain and even lead to amputation. The symptoms of PAD can include a dull, cramping pain in the hips, thighs, calves, or buttocks, numbness or tingling in the leg, foot, or toes, changes in the skin temperature or color, impotence, and weakness in the legs or arms. Let's assume that you came to me because you couldn't walk more than 50 yards and you had pain in your legs. Uh, what we would do, we would work you up and find out that you had a blockage in the arteries of the thigh. Okay, the only way we could fix you so that you could walk without pain would be with a femoral popliteal bypass, which meant an operation where we had to open the leg, take your vein, reverse it, and suture it like a bridge over the uh, obstruction. For patients, that meant a pretty big cut on the leg, a four to five day hospital stay, and about a month of recovery time. Other procedures like ballooning or stenting the blockage might clear the blood flow temporarily, but the plaque may build back up. Now, this innovative device called the Silverhawk can give PAD patients relief by actually removing the plaque with only a tiny puncture and a lot less recovery time. Here's how it works. The doctor inserts the silver hawk into the patient's groin through a small puncture and moves it through the artery to the blockage. Then a tiny rotating blade shaves the plaque from the artery walls as it moves forward. The silver hawk collects the plaque in the tip of the device, completely removing it from the patient's body. With the tools we have today, we can open almost any artery through a stick in the groin. And now, what does it mean that once we finish with the procedure, uh, the patient has a stick in the groin and he has to be in bed for about four or five hours and make sure that that's not going to bleed and then he can get up and walk. Once the plaque is collected it can be analyzed for life-saving information. This is the disease that gives you heart attacks, that gives you strokes, that gives you kidney failure. If you can analyze the plaque and uh, look at the uh, uh, response of the plaque to different agents uh, that is uh, probably the first step towards finding uh, a cure for this disease that we don't have. Dr. Illabaca recently did the less invasive Silverhawk procedure on Colston. Seven years ago, he also performed the more complicated bypass surgery on Colston, who appreciated the difference. I was out of work for four to six weeks. Yeah, it was a bigger incision and, and about six inches my leg and then this time we come and he only made a half inch incision. I was in the hospital one night and and went home and it's 100 percent better. Went back on the job, went back to working the next day and been working ever since. Something I never did do is get out and just go walking and enjoy walking. Now I enjoy going walking. You know it's just like being born again or being able to walk again. And uh I'm enjoying every day of it. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starn.